Hi and I welcome back to another episode of Sakura Saki Best 4, where we left off. Hazel kind of gave a uh, good story up until the end, which was pretty rough, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> but anyway, um, let's get right back into it. Darn, she looks like a flower, but she sure as heck stings like a bee. I've got to remember that. <laughs> I don't like my head and where it is. I don't want to end up like this. <laughs> Hazel giggles. So, what are you going to say about my story for me? Do you think it'd be better if there was more blood and gore? It's quite the opposite. In fact, I think you tipped too much for, of your hand. The way you built suspense was commendable, but it fell apart when Mika was be the one at the door. If it were me, I would have ended the story before the big reveal. It's often better to keep the reader, or in case the listener, guess, particularly ignore. Often our imagination can conjure up scenarios more horrifying than the words ever could. Oh, so you got into the, the gore camp. There's a time and place for it, but it, it is not the sort of horror I prefer. I like subtle, disquieting stories, while flickering lights and noises, ghosts and when the spirits are a forte, not blood-sucking zombies or serial killers. <laughs> I guess I figured as much. Let me guess, you're a fan of creep abandoned shrines too? And of course, I'm very partial to them. I knew it! And what about the rest of you? Did you like my story? Hazel's look exceptionally with the eyes wide. I guess she was waiting for feedback. What should I say? <sighs> I mean, I'll admit, although it needs a bit of a good ending, I'd say it was a good story. I thought it was pretty good. It was very, uh, atmospheric. You're pretty good at building suspense, Hazel. Jeez, do you really think? That ain't nice of you, Nikki. Why you like never? Yep. Don't take compliments to heart. He's humoring you, Hazel. And he pipes up. Her eyes narrowed. I thought the story was downright ridiculous. Who can be frightened with such nonsense? The story kind of sounds familiar. I heard of Azuki Mamiko before. They're the characters of... Of a Yuri visual novel I read once. I even cosplayed as Azusa before. Ooh, good catch! It's a, it's, I didn't think anybody else was into the girl on girl leveling as much as I was. I figured he'd be flying under the radar. I'm not into it myself, but I, I do like cute girls and I like visual novels. I read a lot of different ones. Are you admitting you stole story, Hazel? I knew you were scummy, but I didn't think you were a plagiarist. That's a crime, you know. Hey! She pouts. <laughs> it ain't a crime as long as you don't get caught. And besides, there were so many stories out there, I, it was hard to be a wholly original. That sounds like an excuse to me. It ain't an excuse, I changed. Except the story a whole bunch. But you did use somebody else's characters? Why not? I'm bad at thinking of names. Hazel's story is quite unlike the original. In a visual novel, I read, Mamiko's still soul wasn't stolen and she didn't turn into a zombie she was actually a sadist much like marina she built a susa but susa was a mascot and she liked it and there was they had a happy ending there wasn't anything creepy about it there you see it's totally different i don't know if you're improving it though i like the story with happy ending. i take it you're not a fan of or it's fine but i wanted susa and mamiko to be happy together i couldn't care less of one way or the other personally it's not like any of it's real, it doesn't really matter. Hey, you close eyes and then rise up her feet. Now, I think I'm going to bed. Are you tired of you? I'm too tired of Hazel's stupid ghost stories and I don't want to be tickled again. Night. He leaves the room and the Fumi and Cosmos soon follow suit. And there's only Hazel, Marina, and I living in the living room. So, what did you think? Hazel looks at Marina, who is very quiet throughout the environment. You like my story, Marina? What? Oh, um... Bitch, I hope the fuck you didn't. Bitch, I hope the fuck you didn't. I'm looking at you. You are by far the most... You are despicable! <laughs> you are so despicable! For fuck's sake! What? Oh, um... Marina blinks, sitting, and then shakes her head. It might, it might be my imagination, my imagination, but I think I can see a faint beginning of blush upon her face. 
It was fine, I suppose. You suppose, or, but you don't know? Weren't you listening to me, Marina? Of course I was, though I feared it was not a stick. It was uh, otherwise occupied thinking about, about stocks. Why stocks? Stocks are very, very important. My sister don't need about and this is beyond them. I cannot help but think of them. I'm really quite all right, but please don't ask any further questions. Now I must go to bed. Of course, you, oh my god, you devious woman. <laughs> you devious woman. Good night, you two. Don't stay up too late, or, and, um, and a key? I hope you don't have any bad dreams. Your voice is softer than usual. Almost motherly. Look, she affixes me with is one of the most genuine concerns. So compassionate warms my heart. Her interior might be cold and hard, but deep down, she's a huge sweetheart. Thanks, but I think I'll be fine. I've seen worse horror movies than that. Hazel's story really wasn't all that scary. It wasn't? Not really. Why? Did it bother you? No, no, of course not. I was too immature to let my silly tales bother me. I was simply concerned about your sake. <laughs> now, um, I really must go. G good night. Dear Haley Yeah, um, good night. I watch as she departs with trembling legs, my arms folded. Now I know it wasn't my imagination. She really was blushing, and she was stuttering too. This is all, most, unmarina like behavior. I'm starting to get curious. She isn't afraid of ghosts, is she? This man hasn't even picked up on the fact that this girl literally, literally, and I don't know why, she didn't even pick up on the fact that she just thought one of the most devious things. And you talk about, talk about a fucking sadist. Really? <sighs> what a day. I sigh to myself as I turn over and beneath my covers. It's late at night and I'm exhausted, but I can't sleep. My succubus entourage are running me ragged with what they're infringing in all their demands. But I care for each of them, and I'm happy I'm able to go on holiday with them. It's been a lot of fun. I hope we can spend even more time together tomorrow. I yawned again and put covers about me like a cocoon. Blankets by the darkness and everything was still and quiet. I can hear, though, faintly, the sound of waves as the light around the shore, but the seabirds are absent. They must have fell asleep by now. I should follow in their suit, though, as I close my eyes, I couldn't. I still can't nod off. I can. I could count to sleep, hope in some help, but hmm? I stalled at my 17th sheep, distracted by a rapping of knocks. There's somebody in, at my bedroom. For a brief moment, I, I think back to Hazel's horror map that summified Mamiko. Hey, Nikki, I'm sorry to disturb you, but um, I wanted to see you. Are you awake? But the voice, which accompanies nothing, nothing like all the go and going of a bloody <laughs> zombie. I recognize that voice. Marina? Yes, it's me. Please pardon my intrusion. Um, can I come in? Sure, you can. Don't worry. I haven't fallen asleep yet. You're not serving me. Thank goodness. So uh, why is she in her tie right now? sleep like that. The horns look like they're getting in the way, not to mention the wings. Sometimes I do, in the succubus realm, it is expected there. But as a human, I genuinely despise these terms, even now, tonight. So you dress like that because... It's a bit embarrassing, but well... Marina coyly presses the tips of her inner fingers together. I thought it... I thought it would be best to spend a night like this, just in case. In case what? In case anything bad happens, I'm in such this form, it's easy. I'm gonna fight off any enemies. What? Enemy? I found. This is a huge private beach. We're the only people here. No one is allowed to stay here. With? Not with a... Express car. This house is pretty hidden, too. It seems unlikely this place would... Don't tell me she's scared. Do not tell me! I thought it was something... 
I thought it was something dirty. She's really scared. Not like thieves I'm worried about. They were mere humans. Who could be dispensable as easily as stubborn as a cig stubbing out a cigarette. I mean, I'm more worried about... Marina mumbles something and her voice went quiet. I can't hear her. What was that? I bet. Here she comes. Stand by my side. My anxious eyes. What are you worried about? It, uh, it is, uh, Marina pauses, inhales. Silly, very silly, in fact. I know I'm being foolish, but I can't help myself. I've been horribly edged of... I heard Hazel's foolish... Oh, I knew it. You got scared, Marina? Are you serious? Though I'm only too aware it's nonsense. I don't believe in stories and yet. yet. <laughs> now I think I understand where Marina came to me. Early, my earlier guess was right on the money. You really are afraid of ghosts. Steps back a bust. There's a, there's a tire. Is it really that obvious? It was kind of obvious, yeah. I could tell you acting like quite yourself tonight. It all started with... Hazel brought up ghost stories. You were all distracted and you stumbled. I've never seen you like this before. Oh no. Marina sighs. Her shirt. You don't think the others realized, do you? I don't think they did, no. And you was more focused on denigrating Hazel more than examining you. And Hazel's not the most perceptive of people. There's a chance that Fumi may have noticed. I would not be surprised if she did. She knew me better than the rest. But she's discreet. I doubt she'd tease you about it. Well, that is a relief. I wouldn't be able to stand if that awful AU knew about this. My reputation would be in ruins. She would never take me seriously again. Um, Marina blinks at me and beneath her eyelashes. You won't tell anybody about this, would you, Hiroki? Of course I won't. Of course I won't. That other part is crazy. I won't if That's crazy. Of course not. Your secret's safe for me. Thank goodness. I'm happy to know it. Of course I, I doubted you. But I fear I have to make myself foolish. I hope you're not judging me. This is pretty unexpected, I'll admit, but I don't think any less of you because Well we all have our phobias and they're not as always logical. I don't really like insects myself, especially spiders. So the little one spiny legs. I shudder. I really gross. It's not very manly, but it is no matter. I just like bugs myself. Fear people fall of them. Apart from Cosmos, perhaps. Does she like bugs? I don't know what that girl likes. Her taste is so unusual. She's perplexing, but at least she's relatively good natured. I don't think she would mock me if she knew the truth. But I would vastly prefer if nobody found out. I am Wakasuki Marina. Um, the well-respected business woman. I am known for my sibling decision-making skills and my level-headed nature. I mean, it would not do if uh, it got out that I'm afraid of monsters. It might be bad as your public image, yeah? But it's fine if you want to confine this stuff to me. In fact, I'm glad you came here for comfort. I like feeling useful. I listen to anything you say, Marina. I won't mock you, so don't worry. You need to be afraid when you're with me. Now, I pull my covers behind my back and impact empty space beside me. You want to spend the night with me? I'll keep you safe. Oh, hit a key. Marina's face flipped with gratitude. She placed one hand upon the bosom, which is heavy, and smiles. I knew I could rely on you. This is why you are my darling above all. All others. You're such a good kind man. Nah, I'm nothing special. I do what anybody else could. Who could turn on the opportunity to spend a night with a babe like you? I might have a point there. I I have just as resound my looks as this is a king. But you are the only one I wish wish to lie with. Or my dear Hiroki. And when I'm with you, I'm I'm never to be afraid. Not of bugs or monsters. You've got no need to worry about it this score. Let's get them off of you, I promise. Marina slides into bed beside me and then cuddles to me. She rests her head upon my chest and then 
wraps her arm around my waist. Her silvery hair fanning across the pillow. I pulled the blanket over us and then nuzzled against her. When I inhaled, I could smell the scent of marina shampoo. It's a pleasant, pretty aroma, which puts me at ease. My eyelids begin to droop, I yawn, and then I fall fast asleep. Hey, Ruki! Wake up, Ruki! What? Mm. I rose very early in the morning to a chirping voice so energetic it's almost draining. In the face of all the cheerfulness, I feel more tired than ever before. Yawning! I cracked, I, yeah, I cracked both my eyes open, and then soon blinked away the white spot which bloomed before my vision. For a few moments, my vision was able to focus, but when does it, a familiar face comes to view. Hazel is looming over me, her ponytail brushing my cheek, her face curling around my shoulder, but she draws away as my, when my eyes are open in beads. Hello there, sleeping beauty. How are you feeling? Good. Tired. I yawned again and toned over in bed. Can't you give me a few more minutes? No way! Too important to wait. What? What is it? The boss? Doesn't want me to come into the office, does he? Forget about your boss. I'm here for to be your exercise. Take care of your health. Ugh. I groaned. I was afraid this might happen. Hazel takes care takes her health and walls of the others very seriously. Which I suppose is a good thing. But I came here to relax and not work up a sweat. <sighs> I thought I'd deal away my hours on the beach sipping on the cocktail like Marina. Speaking big of which, where is Marina? I swear she slipped in the bed last night. Garden suck up his outfit, but I cannot see hide or hair of her in this morning. Did she really come into my bed? Or was that a dream? Sally doesn't seem like Marina seem very Marina like to see. Shelter in my arms after listening to a heart. I can't remember all the finer points of Hazel's yearn, but I cannot recall all the blood troubling. Now don't uh me, mister. Takes my shoulder again and then turn me so I can face her. Why don't you come jogging with me for once? I never you never know. You might like it. I'm pretty certain that I won't. Come on. I'm all ready have to get up to crack a dawn and sprint to the train so I can get to the office on time. It's no fun in it, rolling, stressful. Well, well yeah, that's because you're not jogging for the love of it. Exercising is to say, exercising is way different, different beast than running for a train. I'll show you how to limp up first so you don't have to put much strain on your muscles. Then I'll let you go at your own pace. We can take a scenic route around the beach. Sure, it's pretty here, but I'll point out so, and I'll point out all this insights. We're only gonna be out for half an hour tops. When we get back, and we will have a breakfast waiting for us. I swear that me specifically but on the back of a rigorous workout. You're, you're pretty sure you are. Come on, Hideki. Shake me again, even, even more insistently than the last time. Keep a good company, don't you? Such a lovely morning. It's a shame to waste. Have some fun. For all of Hazel's windling, I doubtably go jogging will be fun. Some people are made for exercise, and I, alas, am not one of them. My stamina is just decent, I guess, but I don't see the point of jogging. You have the gas for air, you get all sweaty, and if you're not careful, you can turn an ankle. People go jogging for fun are a strange alien breed for me. Even, for, even, even more so. And the sucky bite. <sighs> Never understand them. I doubt. I don't see why anybody would want to make themselves miserable when my life is already so stressful. Hazel's proportion is not an attractive one, but she sure is being insistent. Please, Ricky, please, 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 one more time with you. I'm glad she wants to spend more time with me, but I'm so not in the mood for this. What should I do? Uh, I'll accept it. I guess, alright, fine. I eventually cave after a brief pause. I'll come along with you, but only once, you hear? 
I don't want to make a habit of this. And I don't want to spend the rest of my morning sweating into miso soup. Yay! Thank you, Hiroki. He leans in and presses a kiss in my mouth. You're the best. Love you. You're only saying that because I gave what you wanted. That's true, I guess, but I'm not married to... I'm not materialistic like a you. I don't want gold or jewels. I only want to be with you. Crap. That was so sweet. I have a heart attack. I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. I said they do it's not bold uh, and does not bod well. Oh, why did I agree to do this again? God damn. That is a beautiful sight. God damn, Hazel. <laughs> God damn, girl. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway. Are you holding up back there, Hiroki? You doing okay? I'm still alive! If that's considered as being okay. Great! Let's keep pushing it then. I'd ra really rather not. But I did agree to on jogging with Hazel, under duress, I might add. I made my bed, and I've got a lot in it. Or run in it. Jeez. I'd really like to go back to bed and get some more shut eye. I've been jogging with Hazel for about half an hour, and, or thereabout, and the sun is yet to fully rise. The sky is warm reddish pink, and the sky, the sky, oh, sorry, the sunlight playing through Hazel's ponytail across her skin. She's wearing, not her usual casual attire, but a set of clothes more suitable for a workout, sports bra, and a pair of very short shorts. She and Cosmo's much share a similar fashion sensibilities. Not that I've ever seen Hazel wear a pair of cat ears. Now, that might be something special. That I will agree with. Hazel and I assert a dirt track cut into the side of a hill. Trees fringing us on the left. And when I look to the right, I can see the beach beneath me. It gets smaller and smaller as we continue our track. My shoes thump against the dirt while my heart thumping in my chest. I don't have any running shoes, just old sneakers, and I don't do mu and they don't do much in cushioning and impact of the sole meeting the ground. I'm a little worried my laces will come untied and I'll go scarring. That would be pretty much embarrassing. I'm covering in sweat too, which is equally embarrassing, but at least I'm not the only one. Hazel might be a sports lev, but she's not immune to the Absurd. The assertion of bodily fluids. She she looks a little bit damp too. Guess we could sweat together beneath the rising sun. How romantic. Come on, Hideki, let's pick up the pace. You're doing really well, but I think you can push yourself a bit harder. I would not push myself at all. I, he started a flag. Started to flag. But Hazel is not looking at me anymore. Her eyes are focused straight ahead. Blazing with determination, she sure is giving her all. I thought she said this would be a light jog. She promised me she, we could go at a running pace, but Hazel's so in the zone, nothing seems to save, save the pace as she wants to set. I am but a lonely peon. Who am I to do? Who I, ugh, Jesus. I am but a lonely peon who can do nothing but to follow her footsteps. Wait, wait up! Don't go too far! I scramble to keep up with her, my heart pounding all in the while. I think I'm developing a stitch on my side, my stomach's hurting. If we keep going much longer, I'm a fit and I might throw up. Hazel's more stamina, has more stamina than I can ever imagine. It's been years, light years even, before I ever go toe to toe with Hazel Williams. I've always respected her athleticism, but this morning I've received a reminder of how incredible she is. Incredible. And maybe a little insensitive. <sighs> when she. When is she going to stop this? When I'm dead? I really hope I don't die. Not before I had the chance to get back and eat breakfast. Know how Fumi will be prepared with. There's one civil lining to all this. <laughs> I guess... I just gotta keep going for now. I can't be as energetic, but I'm still going to do my best. This girl is something else. Seriously. I'm going to end it here. Um, the morning run is going to kill this man no matter what the consequences is but 
Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been Zach, guys. Later.